Hello folks, my name is Chris Knox and welcome to tonight's show. This is my one page paper on uh, what I learned at the San Francisco Myological Society at Randall Museum. Now, I learned a lot about a lot of fun stuff at the museum, but the main thing I'm going to talk about today is Death Cap Mushroom! <laughs> uh, better known as uh, Amantia phalloides. Now, Amantia phalloides normally grow under oaks, but they have been known to grow under uh, spruces, birch, beeches, uh, and chestnut trees, all sorts of varieties, as well as pines. Now, the interesting thing about death cap mushrooms is that they have a compound in them that prevents uh, your cells from performing mitosis. Now, the why this is important is that it causes liver failure, because when the liver uh, cleans the blood and tries to remove toxins from it, uh, it stores them in cells, which then you know, dies and gets rid of them. Now, if they're able to replace these cells, uh, with new ones, uh, aka not able to perform mitosis, uh, toxins in the body actually build up and you die. Uh, and this can take as long as a week. Now, generally, right after ingestion, uh, you won't feel any pain after you ingest the mushrooms for up to uh, 12 hours. You generally don't associate the pain with the mushrooms. Uh, their problem is these mushrooms are quite common in appearance. Uh, they're mostly white with a greenish top cap and can be commonly mistaken for many other varieties of mushrooms. So look out, watch out for them, don't eat them, they're not good for you. Death cap mushrooms, and uh, that's all for this uh, bio paper uh, tonight. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.